Hi, my name is Spencer Howe. I'm at Massachusetts General Hospital in the Yaki building. MRs 1 and 2 have a complete MRI audio system that includes digital amplifier, technologist speakers, a technologist microphone, an iPad that acts as the music source, and inside the MRI suite is our sonic transducer connected to a pneumatic tube that plugs into our over-ear and in-ear headphones. To use the system, make sure that the system's powered on. The iPad acts as the music source. You can select a streaming music application, Spotify, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, or Pandora, or YouTube. Dealer's choice with the music applications. I prefer Pandora because I think it's the easiest to use. To use Pandora, select a station you want to listen to and hit play. Music will stream of that genre or by that artist for the duration of the scan. To listen to the music, you can adjust the music on the technologist speaker. This will allow for the technologist to enjoy the music or turn down, or adjust the music volume without affecting the patient's listening experience. The digital amplifier <clears throat> controls the patient volume. You can independently control the microphone volume and music volume. The third music knob is not in use on these systems and would be used for a second music source, but since you guys have great Wi-Fi here, there's no need for that. And then bass and treble can be adjusted. If you look closely, you'll see that there's a green line on the dial for the recommended settings. However, you can adjust this to what you think sounds best. To use the microphone, push the talk button, talk into the microphone. That will override the patient music. And five seconds after your finger is removed from the microphone, the music volume will come back up. On the microphone, there is a toggle. Make sure that this is pushed forward. If it's pushed back, the microphone will be live and the patient will be able to hear you when the microphone button is not being pushed. However, if you want to have constant communication with a patient, this is an easy way to do so by pushing this toggle switch forward. You'll notice that the MRI audio amplifier has a blue light that shows it's receiving power. When the MRI audio amplifier is turned off, that blue light is still illuminating, so don't be fooled that it's on. To ensure that the amplifier is receiving a signal, once you have music playing on the iPad, you'll see a green light underneath the music potentiometer or the music dial. When the microphone's active, you'll see that same green light come on. Let's go into the MRI suite and I'll show you how the headphones work. Here we are inside the suite MR2 at the Yaki building. The transducer is concealed underneath the shell of the MRI, so you'll see the gray pneumatic tubing coming out. This can connect to either our over-ear headphones or our in-ear headphones. Our over-ear headphones go on the mount just like this. They just clamp on. And these are used most often when you're doing any scan other than the head or neck scan that requires a low-profile headset. For the head and neck scans, we have our in-ear headphones. These use ear tips, which I'll show you how to use in just a second. And these fit inside head coils and provide patients with 29 decibels of hearing protection. Our over-ear headphones provide patients with 29 decibels of hearing protection and do not require earplugs. And they have an adjustable headband and fit all size heads. So put them on the patient, open them up, and put them over the patient's ears. The in-ear headphones use disposable ear tips. You want to change these out for each patient for sanitary purposes. To insert the ear tips into the patient's ears, you want to pitch down on them to compress the foam. The foam will rebound to its original shape in 30 seconds. So insert them in the patient's ears, and you'll notice that you want to get it deep in the patient's ear canal to provide the patient with proper hearing protection. The stethoscope apparatus will also help keep them in place. Additionally, there is a garment clip that you want to attach to the patient. You want to leave a few inches of slack in between the headphones and the garment clip so when the patient's loaded into the table, 
The Garmin clip relieves the stress and prevents the patient's headphones from getting yanked out of their ears. When you're using the MRI audio system, the external microphone will speak directly to the patients. However, it is not connected to the Siemens intercom. So if you need to speak through the loudspeaker, you still need to use the push to talk button on the Siemens intercom. Additionally, when you're talking to the patient, our external microphone only provides one-way communication, so you'll still want to hear the patient using the Siemens intercom. If you're doing a scan, such as a liver or abdominal scan, that requires auto voice, you can disconnect our audio system, connect the Siemens intercom, which plugs into the Siemens headphones, and use auto voice while still using the iPad provided with the MRI audio system. Again, I'll include all of my contact information at the end of this e or at the end of this YouTube video, and please contact me with any questions. You can also contact MRI Audio by using the iPad. The iPad is set up to be a window of communication and includes iMessage and FaceTime. You can also see that our phone number and email address is included on the background of the iPad. If you have any questions, hit the iMessage button say help or please contact me and we'll reach out to you right away and answer any questions. We're here to help. Lastly, if anything breaks or if you have any concerns, the system is fully warranted, and you don't need to try to fix it on your own. We want to make your life as easy as possible and we'll replace anything that isn't working correctly with overnight shipping at no cost to MGH.